Yes, how are you everyone? These are lies which were said which were said by Abedi Wanika, the MP for Kimanya Kabonera, who came out and said that the National Executive Committee of the National Unity Platform consists of inconsequential members. For a very long time now, Abedi Wanika has made it a routine of attacking the leadership of the National Unity Platform, from its leadership Robert Chagran Centum, the Secretary General and others. During an interview of NB on NBS Frontline, he came out and said lies, and this episode have come out to point out the lies he said. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagari, there's a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. During an interview on NBS Frontline, Abedi Wanika came out and lied to, to the entire nation using a straight eye that the NUP National Executive Committee consists of members who are unconsequential. And he had this, uh, which were, by the way, lies. And he had this to say. Here's the tip. You need to look at our neck also and understand how this political party <laughs> is run. I saw our neck for the first time. First of all, I don't know when they were elected. I don't know. I, I Aren't you part of them? I want to be fair to you. I, and for us, the members of parliament, we don't belong to the neck. In the NUP, members of, uh, uh, members of the parliament, they don't have any organ where they belong. It is a very interesting political party. One time we were called, we were called in, I think it was in Indeje, to interface with the members of the NEC, I saw them for the first time. Who are they? Uh, I saw Nubiani Lee. I saw <laughs> another man, I think he's called Mosh. I saw another one, I think he's either Mick Wine. I saw... Uh, these are very interesting. I, I, I hope you're not kidding. I hope you're not kidding. No, you, the political... I mean, they, they, of course, they are, they are response. Now they are going to abuse me. Uh, I've given them a platform to abuse me for the next one or two weeks. <laughs> That's how our party responds. But I saw them for the first time. I don't know. Who introduced them to you as I NEC? The, the president introduced them to us. Uh, he said, this is a NEC team. Uh, please come and interface with them. And those are issues <coughs> where some of us, we want to come out so strong. Uh, I, Could I, you say this again? Yeah. I've, I've, you go and ask the Nubian Lee. Ask the list uh, of the members of the NEC. How many are they? Because in NRM, the NEC is about 880 people. How many are these NEC? We were in a, a, a hotel. We had sat on a, a long table. For us, the members of parliament were on one side, and for them, they were on another side. Uh, roughly, probably, they, they might have been like 20 members of NEC. Me, that's what I saw. That is Abedi Wanika. In this video, I've come out to, uh, to reveal the lies which was said by Abedi Wanika because I think Abedi Wanika, being a senior member of the party, he can get the information either from the party leadership or from the electoral commission. But by Abedi Wanika coming out to tell the lies, it shows a lot of what he wants, which I'm going to tackle in this video. To show you that he lied, there is a letter which the former NUP leadership wrote to the electoral commission to inquire about the returns of the National Delegate Conference. We all know the NUP was formed in 2020, before the 2021 general election. It was done quietly because by then the, the, the leadership of Robert Chagrin didn't have time to form a new political party. In a letter which was written by Electoral Commission, it was written to, Mos, to Mr. Nkonge Moses Chivalama, the former NUP president, and Simba Paul Kagombe, the former Secretary General, Reference return on the delegate conference submitted to Electoral Commission. This is to acknowledge receipt of the above captioned returns lodged in with the uh, with the Commission on 27 May 2022. You will recall that in the final submission you made the Electoral Commission on 21st July 2020. Put that in mind. You and Mr. Simba Paul Kagomba resigned as party leaders, and both of you signed as outgoing leaders. Prior to your resignation, you did, you did chair a meeting that conducted elections 
of office bearers to whom you handed over respective offices and a subsequent party meeting held elections of the National Executive Committee. Please do note that the filed return on records with the Commission of 21st July 2020 show the following office bearer and the Executive Committee. You clearly see in this document that the, the, the National Executive Committee was elected in 2020 before the 2021 general election. And these are the, are the names of the National Executive Committee 1, President Robert Chagulani. Deputy Presidents, Lina Zedriga, Northern, Jolie Mugisha, Western, Naambeshe, Eastern, Mafia Simpuga, Central, Luis Rubongoya, Secretary General, Aisha Kabanda, Deputy Secretary General, Joel Sonyonyi, Secretary for Information, Flavia Kaulena Abagabe, Secretary for Women, Nyanzi Fred, Secretary for National Mobilization, Simba Paulo Kagombe, Senior Administrator, Bigura Moses, Suleiman Chidandala, and others. In fact, the National Executive Committee doesn't consist of 20 members, it has 34 members. But Abed Wanika came out to say lies that Mickey Wine and Mosh were among the National Executive Committee, which was a lie. The only person he talked about was who is among the National Executive Committee was Nubiandi, because he was the last member was who who said who uh, was appointed uh, uh, voted as secretary for arts, culture and entertainment. Ali Buken Nubiandi. So you clearly see that Abed Wanka lied about the composure of the National Executive Committee, yet he can get the actual information if he needs. He missed his fellow members of parliament who are, who are on the National Executive Committee like Flavia Nabagabe, Nambeshe, okay, Amafia Simpuga, his neighbor in the constituency. He never talked about those names. So we must ask ourselves, why is he coming out to, uh, to attack the party like this? First of all, by calling out in consecration names like Nubian Lee and other two people he lied about, that is M Mosh and uh, Mick Wine, he's indirectly attacking the Bo Bob Wayne as a leader because Bob Wayne comes from the music industry as Nubian Lee. So by attacking these people, is indirectly attacking Bobby Wine because Abed Wanka thinks that Bobby Wine is occupying a space he's supposed to occupy. Remember, Abed Wanka has ever run for president, not once, not twice, garnering less than 50,000 votes without even getting any member of parliament. So he thinks that a person who is a novice in Bobby Wine, who has less than five years in elections, cannot lead the, biggest oppo the second biggest party in Uganda. So Abed Wanka has this in mind that he's supposed to be Bobby Wayne. That's why he's attacking Bobby Wayne. Because if a person abuses an old woman in the presence of your mother, he's indirectly abusing your mother. And to put in context that he even put names which are not on the National Executive Committee. You cannot tell me that if Abed Wanka indeed wanted to know the composure of the neck, that he may fail to get it. Even an ordinary man like me can go to the electoral commission and get that information. The second reason he's attacking the party, I think he wants to be chased from the party so that he can be made a martyr. And by making him a martyr, he can get sympathy to be elected. This is what he's doing. Because the way he's attacking the party is away from accountability. I'm not saying that the Secretary General and the leadership of the NUP is not supposed, is not supposed to, to account to the members. But the way Abedi Wanka does it is away from accountability. He's bringing out battles so that he can be expelled from the party. And by expelling him, you make him a matter. In fact, by giving him a complete card, it is good. Because if the leadership of the, the party comes out every time Abedi Wanka speaks, it creates a battle between them. And it was in favor of a bad Wanika, not in the favor of the party. Because indeed, if he wanted to know very many things, he would go on to ask leadership, even before he, come, he, he, he comes out on, on a media. So I think it will be a bumper ride to see. And a bad Wanika is playing politics. Not that he wants the party to account, he's playing politics, and he also he feels inferior to the leadership Robert Chagrin sent him Bobby Wayne because he thinks that he's supposed to be among the neck. You just imagine if Abed Wanka was among the neck. If he can make a lot, of, a lot of these allegations, fake allegations outside the neck, what would happen if he was in the neck? Secondly, I may not begrudge 
the neck composition because the party was done in secrecy. That's the reason as to why when the NUP party registered its new leadership. Commissioners of Electoral Commission were chased by John Yuri Kaguta M7. He never expected this. Like, for instance, the Electoral Commission. Electoral Commission is full of rotten people. I am going to get rid of them. So by a bad one coming out to come out and lie every time, there is even an interview he did on, uh, on CBS, it was a Luganda interview, which said that very many people who started the People Power Revolution were never made the leaders in the NUP. He talked about Chidanda. Chidanda was the secretary for mobilization in the NUP before he was denied a card, although I think it was a mistake. Okay, and others. So Abedi Wanika has his own battles he's fighting, which are which are is away from accountability. Of course, that's my opinion. Drop me a comment by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I employ would subscribe, like and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.